Hey Doc, Dr. McNamara here with Next Generation Chiropractor and today what I'd like to do is walk you through on how to upgrade your WordPress chiropractic blog or website to the newest latest released version WordPress 3.2. There are a couple of steps that I recommend that you do during this process and I'm going to walk you through that. First and foremost you want to make sure that you have some form of WordPress plugin that allows you to back up the database and the site. The one that I use is called WordPress Database Manager and after it's been installed and activated you'll get a little menu icon over on the left hand sidebar that simply says database. So if you click on that it'll open up the window and the very first thing I'll do is click on backup database. Then come down to the bottom here and simply click on backup. Once it's done backing up the entire site, you'll get a prompt up at the top that says database has been backed up successfully. It'll give you the date and the time when it has been backed up. So that's the first step is make sure you get a full database backup of both the structure of the site as well as the data. Next, you're just going to go over and click on the automatic update to 3.2. And there are different areas within the uh, dashboard that you can do this, but I'm just going to use this button right here called update to 3.2. Then you click on update automatically. And I'll tell you this, depending on how fast your connection is, as well as the server that your site sits on, this may take a little while in terms of upgrading the site to 3.2. So don't get frustrated, just be patient, let it go ahead and update. Okay, the site's been updated and as you can see, there are different steps to the update. Number one, it's gonna unpack the update. Number two, verify the unpacked files. It'll install the latest version, then it'll upgrade your database and then give you a prompt that says WordPress updated successfully. Now, once you have the update installed, there's one last step that you want to make sure that you accomplish, and that's done through this WordPress Database Manager plugin, and you want to optimize the database by clicking on Optimize Database. Scroll all the way to the bottom, click on Optimize, and let it optimize the entire site. This needs to be done at least once a month on your site to make sure that everything is running smoothly. You'll get a prompt at the top that looks like this that shows all the databases in your installation that have been optimized. And that's pretty much it. You're now running WordPress 3.2. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have a great day.